We are so glad. Yes. Honk it up for Pat. Honk it up. Honk it up. All right. And wonderful. All right. We are so glad you are here on this 24th day of May 2020 to celebrate, acknowledge, um, honor this wonderful senior who has culminated his high school experience. While this is not the graduation he envisioned his first day of senior year, I'm sure, we are glad that we have this opportunity to continue to celebrate him no matter what. He deserves it. Honk it up, honk it up, honk it up! Now, for those... For those of you that may have family and friends that would like to follow this ceremony, even though they are not here, please have them go to Pax Graduation Drive-In on Facebook and they can follow this live. Now, this afternoon you will be hearing from some people who mean a lot to Pax. It is an honor that I was asked to be a part of this as his middle school principal to be able to stand before you once again at another graduation of this wonderful gentleman. Following, you will hear from Ms. Dewana, Mrs. Dewana Hammonds, who is his acting up coach. And after that, you will hear from Mr. DJ McKenzie from Madison Academy, who was his drama coach and audiovisual teacher. So please continue to join in. Um, enjoy this experience and let's celebrate PAX together. Thank you. Mrs. Dewana Hammonds will now come at this time. Yes. Good afternoon. Congratulations, Pax. Super proud of you. And if you guys know Pax well, you know he is a movie connoisseur. Can I say that? <laughs> He loves movies, great movies, and you're, you know, in honor of that, I want to do a little dramatic piece for you. Is that okay? This is from Hercules because Pax is a young hero for us, right? And you have okay, gone the distance. Check this out. Wow. Just make sure they can see. I have often dreamed of a far off place where a hero's welcome will be waiting for me, where the crowds will cheer when they see my face and a voice keeps saying, This is what I'm meant to be. I'll be there someday I can go the distance I will find my way If I can be strong I know every mile Will be worth the while When I go the distance I'll be right where I belong Down an unknown road To embrace my fate Though the road may 
wonder it will lead me to truth and a thousand years would be worth the wait it might take a lifetime but somehow i'll see it through and i won't look back i can go the distance and i'll stay on track no i won't accept defeat it's an uphill slope but i won't lose hope till i go the distance and my journey is complete oh yeah and to look beyond the glory is the hardest part where a hero's strength is measured by his heart no i won't back I can go the distance and I'll stay on track no I won't accept defeat I don't care how far I can go the distance I will go the distance to my job Complete. I was waiting for Car to come up and do a feature. <laughs> Okay, all right. <laughs> oh yeah! Let me let me lower this down. Just honk your horns for DJ real quick. Honk your horns for DJ real quick. <laughs> Thank you. All right, all right. Um, I've known Pax for the last four years. And I had the privilege of uh, being his drama teacher while he was at Madison for two of those. And th there's a lot of words I could use to describe Pax. Quiet, reserved, <laughs> shy, kind of a loner. Keeps to himself mostly. No, we all know that's not true. Uh, Pax is, is probably the exact opposite of all those things. But uh, one of the things that definitely describes you is energetic. And... You always bring energy to what you do, whether that's making a music video with Andre and who else was it? Joy? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I saw Chris. And <laughs> yes, yes, that was awesome. Or the underrated and sadly unfinished season two of Hall and Order. Moment of silence. <laughs> okay, we got a haunt for that. That's good. Um, no, Pax brings energy to everything that he does. And, and one of the things that, that I appreciate, in addition to the creativity and the energy that you have, because I've known students with creativity and energy, but one of the things that you have, Pax, is the ability to get other people energized, to bring out the creativity of others, and to make it okay to care about stuff. Uh, that's not something that everybody can pull off. And it's kind of one of those things, if you're a teenager, you're not supposed to care about things, at least not the things that people want you to care about. You can care about anything else except for that. But, Pax, you made it okay and, in fact, encouraged people to care about stuff, whether that was assignments, whether that was essay, or whether that was ministry. And that is awesome. That, that is really, really awesome. And that is one of the things I've always been most impressed with. And so uh, I'm going to leave you with a, a modified version of a few lines from some of your skits because you are God's child he loves you because you are his child he will never give up on you
Oh, I didn't go to the And because he is an artist, you are his masterpiece. And now, uh, now that you're done, uh, we want you to make like a banana and leave. Now, now, I'll give you bonus points if you know what your line was right after that. Okay, good. He remembers his lines. That's good. That's good. He's a good man. <laughs> we got one for that. Uh, anyway, I am just honored to have been a small footnote in this part of your life, and I hope our paths cross again. I love you, man. Thank you. Honk it for DJ. Honk it for DJ. Best comedy writer I've ever met. Best comedy writer I've ever met. At this time, we will have Dr. Gazetta Holt Roberts. She is a little professor. auspicious occasion to represent a school that many of you are well acquainted with. You love and you know the school so well. Pine Forge Academy. Pine Forge Academy. All of you PA, PFAs out there, honk it up. There you go. Pine Forge Academy has as its mantra, where excellence is no accident. Well, the well-known Greek philosopher Aristotle said, Excellent, excellence is never an accident. It is always the result of high intention, sincere effort, and ex intelligent execution. It represents the wise choice of many alternatives. Choice not chance, determines your destiny. I am honored today to represent the great institution of Pine Forge Academy, and I will read to you what I have been commissioned to say to you today in Pax's honor. The Board of Trustees, by virtue of authority granted by the state of Pennsylvania, and on the recommendation of the faculty of Pine Forge Academy has awarded to Irvin Gill Fordham this college preparatory diploma certifying satisfactory completion of the prescribed high school course of study given virtually from Pine Forge Academy but awarded at Riverside Seventh-day Adventist Church in Nashville, Tennessee on this date May the 24th, the year 2020, by yours truly, Dr. Gazetta Hope Roberts. At this time, I would like to take a moment just to inform you guys of some very important information before we move forward. We are here to honor PAC, and I distinctly remember my senior year of high school and the way my bank account swelled on my graduation day. PAC's cash app is cash tag P-A-X-F. That cash tag is the same as a money sign, if you were not aware. Money sign, P-A-X-F. Please take a moment now to go ahead and drop something in his cash app for culminating and finishing his four years of high school. What we must not take for granted is that everyone does not reach this moment. I know we live in a culture especially within the Adventist culture where education is paramount, 
paramount and we sometimes take these moments for granted because we expect it of you but this is not something that everyone does so go ahead and drop some money in his account we will now hear from the graduate all right thank you don't help her off Thank you very much. <laughs> I've never spoken where there's an echo. This is very Obama-ish. I like this. Um, my mom, I knew we were doing something. And I assumed that my parents wanted me to come up with a few words for maybe a seven-person meetup at a station where we eat cake. Uh, but this feels more like a positive spin on the Twilight show. This is the weirdest, craziest, most amazing thing I could ever imagine. Before I say anything, before I forget, uh, Dr. Gazetta Holt Roberts is, I don't know if she can hear me, but Dr. Gazetta Holt Roberts um, taught English. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Dr. Gazetta Holt Roberts taught English at my school. Teacher. I did have a class with her, but I've known her for years. Uh, she is a very heartful person. Heartful. She has a full heart, um, and she has a passion for people getting the best experience possible. This just came to my mind. So it was Price's birthday on March 3rd uh, at Pine Forge. She came to me and said that she has a cake with his name on it that she wanted me to surprise him with at school. And honestly, she was doing it for Price, but she decided to buy it for maybe four other kids who ironically have the same birthday as Price. There's a lot of people at Pine Forge who have the same birthday as March, especially on March 3rd. That's a different conversation. What I'm saying is, is that she came and parked at CAF and told me, hey, when Price comes, let's do the thing. Price, we have CAF at like 5.15. 5.15, I go, wait in line, Price isn't there. 5.25, Price isn't there. 5.30, Price isn't there. Uh, Price happened to be sleeping or doing something else. Uh, she came to me and she's like, where's Price, where's Price? I text him, he's not answering his phone, I text his friends, nothing's happening. Um, I think, okay, we'll take the cake to the dorm, we will do it there. She goes, no, we must give him the best experience possible. So, she goes down to the Handy Hall dorm, goes to the dean, has the dean rip Price out of his bed in shorts and slides and a t-shirt with nappy hair and comes down to the dorm after calf while the calf workers are cleaning up and we sing happy birthday. So, thank you very much for being someone who cares. Honk it up for Dr. Gazetta Hope Roberts. Thank you for being someone who cares that much. Um, I'm going to shout out a few of the people that have spoken already. So, Brenton did prayer. Um, Brenton gave me my first job making... No, yeah, he gave me my first real job. I worked at a little job at my school, but I didn't really consider that a real job because it was like my parents set me up for it, and like most students work there. He came to me one weekend after I made some stupid video in DJ's class that really wasn't that good. Um, and he was like, okay, make videos for my thing. And I was like, uh, okay. So he gave me the first experience of being able to create content, edit content, and he has impacted my life in a very positive way. So thank you very much, Brenton. Honk it up for Brenton. I made the video in DJ Mc... I made the... Oh, that's cool. They, I made the video in DJ McKenzie's class. He's that guy right there. Um, I, I, I was about to shoot him a text and say, hey, we're probably going to do something for my graduation. If so, like, do that, but I forgot to. Um, I appreciate him coming today. DJ McKenzie, I can talk about my relationship with him, but I am someone who I value excellence a lot, and he is the most excellent writer of scripts or comedy I have ever met in my life. I have never met someone who can blend biblical teachings and make it like take a sermon that Rick Warren would preach and then twist it with something you would see at 10:30 on SNL. 
one of the most genius comedy performers I have met in my life. Honk it up for DJ McKay. Something happened. Hold on, Pat. We can't hear you. Okay. I can't hear him. Don't start yet. Hand up. We got it. We got it. I'm not starting yet. Good. Okie dokie, artichokey. Chris Ware, honk if you can hear this. Andre Creighton, honk if you can hear this. Joy Osborne, honk if you can hear this. Okay, cool. Um, I think you guys heard the thing about DJ. I very appreciate him in, in my life. Um, I got a really great opportunity to serve at my school as the student body president this year. Um, I would not have... I happen to be blessed to... I'm, I'm a big nerd when it comes to like, student council stuff. But um, I got the opportunity to serve on my school's student councils every year of my high school experience. Um, I would not have gained this, pa gained this passion, uh, been able to get these experiences and be able to feel confident enough to uh, pursue these things if in eighth grade uh, Dr. Wood didn't come to me and be like, hey, you should run for president. And I was like, what's that? Um, so I do appreciate her doing that in my life. She did a really great job at the school down there. So yeah, my mom works there. It's pretty, pretty dope. Um, okay, can you still hear me? Can you still hear me? I think you can hear me. Thank you so much. Um, Keep recording. I recently saw, you have to forgive me because I thought I was giving like a, a, a seven people party like toast thing, but you know. Okay, so I saw this movie earlier this year, and uh, don't, well, yeah, I saw this movie earlier this year, it was freaking awesome, it was called Parasite, it won Best Picture, yeah, great, 10 out of 10, um, it won Best Picture, uh, uh, first South Korean movie to win Best Picture at the Academy Awards, uh, I thought it was pretty cool, um, basically it is about a poor family of five, four, poor family of four living in South Korea in barely a house, underground. Their job is they fold pizza boxes and they do it wrong. They get paid maybe 25 cents an hour. Literally, they have no money. The youngest son decides he is destined for greatness. He is destined to, um, he is destined to be not just great, but have a higher level of life, materialistic higher level of life, right? Um, he gets the opportunity to tutor, am I talking too long? Okay, cool. Um, he gets the opportunity to tutor this really rich girl at this family house across the street. The house is beautiful, the family is rich, the people are really dumb. Um, but he does that. He thinks, let me do this. I am going to secretly get my family jobs at this apartment so that we can start making money and living at a higher level of life by leeching, by being parasites off of this rich family. So they get together a crazy plan to get rid of the uh, maid. They get a crazy plan to get rid of the um, driver for framing them for things they did not do, making these homeowners uh, fire them. I won't spoil anything, but I'll say there gets to a point where they get all the jobs and things seem great, but it gets to the point where the son is asking himself, why do I even try? I am not destined for materialistic greatness. I am not destined for upward mobility. I don't get to decide that. Um, hey, 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 hey. Um, I don't get to decide that. Uh, the father, the father was supportive, but he wasn't necessarily as passionate as the son. He leans over because they're currently sleeping in a gym that has been open for homeless people because they at that moment, they don't have their house. Um, he turns to the son and says, you know, he's talking about, I wish this plan would work out. He turns to the son and says, you know what plan never fails? He says, Kiwoo, you know what plan never fails? Kiwoo's like, what? No plan at all 
never fails. He's telling him that not creating a plan, not having an expectation, will never fail you in your life. Now, you're saying this and you're telling me, Pax, you got to have the highest of heights. J. Cole says, uh, reach for the sun and if you fall, you'll land on the stars. It's some song, I don't know, I forgot. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a popular culture to reach for the highest of heights and expect nothing less. Um, he whose father is saying the opposite. I was expecting to have a graduation in three, four, one, five, eight, PA, um, right now, but I'm not. At first, I was like, why didn't this plan work out? Why couldn't I finish out the year with my USM team? Why couldn't I finish out the year with my choir? Why can't I spend more time with my friends uh, at school? Um, and it was sad. I realized that, I realized that in the midst of creating plans and in the midst of having expectations, it may be even more powerful to have no plan at all and trust that you will find happiness and contentment and maybe even higher levels of satisfaction in this plan B. Um, I thought to myself, I, I have been slowly learning that even though I wish I was at school, uh, I got a lot of time to hang out with my family and kind of debrief from the toxicity of a lot of people I didn't really like. Um, and I got to have a lot of rest. Many qualities, I could say, made this plan B look a little like a plan A. Uh, showing up today, when my dad told me we're going to go get some church, going to go get some seats from church, and then we're going to go to Aunt Donna's house. Hey, Aunt Donna. Hi, Uncle Duke. Um, to have a little, you know, thingy thing, maybe nothing that big. Um, and I see all these cars from a village that I really do appreciate that loves me so much uncontrollably. It's crazy. Um, I have never, I have never, thank you. <laughs> Stop honking! <laughs> Put it down! Put it down! Dr. Gazette Hold Roberts um, told me to not forget how she coached a team that caused us to make girls cry at our debate team. Like we, like she coached our debate team, and we would, and me and Reese McCoy would cause our opponents to cry. It was really fun. I'm not a terrible. Well, maybe I am. I don't know. Okay, what I'm saying is, um, what I'm saying is, what was the last thing I was talking about? Oh, yeah. Um, I know a lot of pastor's kids. I know a lot of people from churches. I know a lot of people from churches that they do not like to associate with, people that they don't like, people that uh, cause them heathens for having haircuts that were weird, uh, people that left their churches for X, Y, and Z reasons. I am blessed to never have had an experience with a toxic church. Um, I've been here for, what, has it been like 13 years? I don't know. Um, and I thank you very much for being a community in a village to help cultivate me, uh, me and Pace and Price, um, and I hope that I can do the same to help cultivate you or others. Thank you. Oh, I'm done. Right, I'm done. I'm gonna do a lot, so you talk because that's a it's a long speech. <laughs> All right. Hello, everyone. When we asked Pax what he wanted to do for graduation, the only thing he wanted to do was hang out with his friends in Uncle Do and Aunt Donna's backyard and drink Martinelli. So we could not have this, <laughs> we could not have this kind of event without including his friends that have also graduated this year. Okay, so get ready, friends. When I call your name, I need you to come up front and let's honk it up for Pax's friends. Come on up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, when we made a view music video, he went under the name Andre <laughs> Dre? Oh, yeah.
you guys ready? One of, yeah, stay here. One of my favorite people, one of my favorite people, uh, one of my favorite people to argue with, one of my favorite people that I ever had the experience to sit in Chappie's Klaus and debate uh, different things with all the students, one of my favorite argumenters in the world. Welcome Robin Ford to the stage. Yes, Robin Ford. it up. Oh yeah, Robin. Get, uh, stand on this side. Uh -huh. Right. Oh yeah. We um we wrote a song together titled, Ooh, Should I Use Sir or a Star in Spanish Class. Yes, sir. He was my junior year roommate. I drove him crazy, but he remained calm throughout the whole way. Funniest dad in the world. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the stage, Kanai <laughs> Omar Jabrell Holiday. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> is one of the coolest persons to get the new music from and playlists and fashion and all that stuff. Uh, welcome to the stage, Jackson Hubbard. Yes, sir. Woo! Yes, sir. One of my, one of my best friends I have had. Uh, welcome to the stage, also a feature on God Where's My Water, a hit single from 2017, Joy Osborne. One of the funniest people I know, one of my favorite people to freestyle rap with, Caleb Smith, is he here? Shout out Miss Emma. 
um, saw, saw that kid and was like, you know what, he seems cool, I'm gonna sit next to him. Uh, that was defi def definitely purposed for us to be the best of friends. Welcome to the stage, Chris Ware. Yes, sir! Oh, yeah! <laughs> brother but when he's not around I have other older brothers he has been one of my so surrogate older brothers talented man he's going prices so get his autograph now welcome to the stage or pavement William Jenkins say this now because I don't think they're going to give me the time to speak about this. So um, one thing we have at Pine Forge is uh, the Saturday night before graduation, they have a service that's called Parents Tribute. Basically, kids make videos or write speeches about their parents. Um, just thanking them for stuff. Um, when my class president told me, hey, make a two-minute video, uh, you know, this is in September, this, yeah. um, but make a two-minute video, I was like, I can't fit everything I would want to say in two minutes. I'll wrap it up saying this. I don't know if I've said this before. I'm sorry if I'm using similar analogies. Um, truthfully, I believe that just like in Avengers Infinity War, when Doctor Strange looked at all of his uh, chances of seeing if they could beat Thanos in the big fight, and they, he looked through 14 million and 65 uh, possible scenarios, and they only won one. I truly believe that we will get to heaven and God will be like, I wanted to make this guy pax a person, but unless without him turning into a freak or a uh, crazy person or a uh, worse person or dead, uh, I can only give him the parents of Furman Fletcher Fordham and Jennifer Fordham. So thank you very much for being my parents. Oh yeah, we love you. I'll get up for my parents. <laughs> here to affirm PAX. PAX is just, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. You know how every child in your home has a different role? PAX is the one that creates everything that we do. We still remember when the worship team wanted us to start doing welcomes at church and at about 11.30 p.m. on a Friday night, PAX said, I got the idea. And he rounds us all up, takes us to the church. We're filming at 12.30 a.m. That's just the kind of stuff this dude has done all his life. He has this Broadway mind. He has this uh, filmmaker mentality. And he is just a movie buff at heart. We love him to death. He is oh, wonderful. Yeah. Thank you, my brother, for being you. We thank appreciate you. you. Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you. The next person that I want to thank is his mother. Oh, yeah! Jennifer comes up with these amazing ideas. I never have the 
finances to make them happen, so we just go in the poor house making them happen. But this is what happened. <laughs> Praise the Lord for a mother that is just creative and loves her children and always makes memories that are to last for a lifetime. We appreciate you, baby. <laughs> There's so many people that I need to thank, so many people. I'm so glad that PAX thanked all of the platform participants. You were chosen because you have been such a special part in PAX's life, and we just thank you for being on the program today. But I have to also thank some other people. If you look at this stage up here, all we did was make a call to Earl Gator. <laughs> and Earl Gator said, yeah. Can I say something? Sophomore year. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sophomore year, um, uh, a teacher made us. <laughs> um, <a t> <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. Um, so I'm here, a teacher uh, in math class. I was in with Caleb and Joy, and uh, Andre wasn't in that class, I don't think. Andre was in that class. Robin was in They were all in the class. Um, but uh, sophomore year, uh, we had to make like a project out of something like geometrical. I, I don't know what the point was. But we had to make a project. Um, I wanted, I saw this video of making a camera jib, which is basically almost when you go on a film set, those big things that are do the crane shots of films, but I want to make a smaller one that you can use. Um, so, my parents, I asked Earl Gator to help me with it, and he came to my house, and we spent two days, and it was really great, so I appreciate that. We got an A. We got an all right, A together. All right. All right, Earl Gator, Bonita Dudley Scott, yeah. all of my programs, my diplomas. When you Bonita Dudley Scott Parker. I, I, when you go out today, you're going to pick up a little body bottle of Martinelli's with a pack sticker on it. That's Bonita too. Thank you, Bonita. <laughs> DJ McKenzie, who, who not only gave us our speech, but he also gave, provided us with sound on our radios. And we just thank him so much. Marie Wright, who always comes through. She called me this morning and said, what time do you need me to be there? And she showed up and put the thing on. Anyone else? Tony Brown. Tony Brown. What do you do without Tony? Who came here and made sure everything was right. And, and you know, and you know, I can't, I didn't even ask Michael Hubbard to take pictures. I didn't even ask him because I don't have to ask Michael Hubbard to take pictures. At every event, Michael Hubbard is there. But last, I want to thank this village. Woo! Pax kind of summed it up when he said, Pastor's kids have horror stories about how their church family treats them, but this church family is the best village Woo! in the world. That's my girl. Thank you, Marcia. But let me tell you, you wonder why we've been here for 13 years? It's because of you. It's because you have loved us and you have loved our children. <laughs> and we are so grateful. So grateful for your love and your support of our child. Thank you so much. We love you and we appreciate you. We're going to have uh, Pace and Price to come up and give our closing prayer. As Jennifer said, we still have memories of coming to Nashville, coming to Riverside 14, 13 years ago. Pace would have been about eight. 
Axe would have been 6'5", Price was three. They all had heelys, and they would run around the circle, skate around the circle of the church. We were scared to death that the deacons were going to kick them out, but they would give them high fives and encourage them to keep running. <laughs> you all have done the same for all of our children. You've encouraged them to keep running. These are our children, too. They're going to keep on running yes, they are. because of the village that encourages them to go to higher heights. Thank you all for being you. We love you, and we praise God for our Riverside family. Huh. Tell them to go. Tell them to take the I want to say one thing. I know this is for Pax, but if any of y'all feel extra generous, my cash app is dollar sign. Father God, we thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you that uh, everybody out here, about 200, 300 people, can come celebrate Pax. Um, I want to pray that when he gets to college, he doesn't like shy down and like takes over whatever school he goes to because he knows he's supposed to do that. All y'all know that. I want to make sure he doesn't shy down. Uh, make sure he does big things and make sure he uh, puts the, uh, the man upstairs first. Let me, let me pray amen. Amen. Hey. That's not fun. Okay, I would pray too. You know, double whammy. Let's, let's reinforce the spirit. Everybody, let's bow our heads. Dear Jesus, um, thank you for this service. As my mom already stated, thank you for this village because... Yo, pastor's kids have some terrible stories of hating their churches and hating God because of it. Um, God, I want to thank you for all the things that are happening. I want to thank you for Pax. I want to pray that if he comes to Oakwood, when he comes to Oakwood, that he can help me rise to higher heights as a team as we take over, because that will be fun. I've never been to school with him before. Amen. Amen. Okay. Once again, thank you, everybody, for participating with us as you exit. We want you to take an opportunity to take a picture with our virtual packs over here. We do want to ask you to socially distance as you do it. So we just have a couple of individuals at a time taking pictures here. As you exit to the front of the church, there is a party favor, a bottle of Martinelli's. Please stop by, grab one, take it so that our celebration can continue. Thank you so much. We love you. And thank you for loving Pats.